Stephanie Bradbury. I'm, marine, I'm one of the marine biologists here at the Houston Museum of Natural Science inside of the shark tank in our shark exhibit with your daily fact. Catatonic immobility. Um, a lot of people know that if you flip a shark upside down, they will go into a trance-like state called catatonic immobility. Uh, what this is, is when they are flipped upside down, they're ampullae de Lorenzini, so all of the pores that uh, send electrical senses through their body gets really overwhelmed. Their breathing starts going into a rhythmic state and they calm down and they will just relax all of their muscles. So when sharks or rays go into catatonic immobility, it is mostly done by humans. It doesn't happen too often in the wild naturally. Um, this helps scientists do research, draw blood samples, or tag these animals where the animals are not gonna be stressed out and where it won't hurt the researchers. Um, it is said that once the animal gets out of that state or once it is flipped back over, it only takes mere moments for the animal to go back to normal and swim away. Um, sharks are not the only ones that go through catatonic immobility either. Fish, amphibians, reptiles, and even birds can go into catatonic immobility. It's just more popular for sharks. Scientists don't really know the reason why they do this, but they can, they have hypothesized that it is either a defense mechanism because no predator is really gonna hunt dead prey, or it is used for mating purposes.